Welcome one and all inside the Globe Studios. My name is Dante Stanton and you're watching the Goshen News Weekend Wrap Up presented by Globe TV. We're excited to bring you local news in this new video format every week. All stories presented during the Weekend Wrap Up were originally reported by the Goshen News. We want to thank the Goshen News for their partnership as we move forward with the show. In police fire and rescue news, the Elkhart County Coroner's Office has released the name of the man found dead on September 2nd in the Elkhart Riverbank. 31-year-old Randall Long of Elkhart was the man identified. Initial reports of Long's body being found by passerbys came in around 6.26 p.m. according to the Elkhart Police Department. Officials say that he was found partially decomposed along the riverbank near 599 Bower Street and North Riverside Drive. Anyone with information is encouraged to contact the Elkhart County Homicide Unit at 574-295-2825. In other rescue news, two people were hospitalized Tuesday afternoon after a crash in New Paris. Deputies with the Elkhart County Sheriff's Office stated that the driver of a 2019 Toyota Yaris was traveling towards the intersection of County Road 46 when colliding with the driver of a 2003 Mercury Grand Marquis. Witnesses at the scene told police in a statement that the driver of the Toyota turned through an intersection into the path of the Grand Marquis. Both the driver and passenger in the Toyota were taken to Goshen Hospital for their injuries. The driver of the marquee was issued a citation for failing to yield to the right of way. We'll switch gears now to the community calendar. Something to circle red on your calendar this week. Music fans at Elkhart County rejoice. The Island Blues Fest is set to make its return for the first time in 20 years. The city of Elkhart, of course, most famous for its annual jazz festival. Well, now fans of the blues can get their kicks in as well. Island Park will be the host site. It'll happen this Saturday from 12 o'clock noon to 9 in the evening. It's a free event to attend with more than half a dozen live blues performances, barbecue and dessert vendors, and a whole lot more. Now, another upcoming community event to keep an eye on. It was announced earlier this week that the Elkhart chapter of the Indiana Black Expo is set to celebrate the 2023 Men of Honor Award nominees next month. This year's theme is a simple one. Working together works. There are 13 nominees in total for an award specifically given to those who are active members of the community and are key to the city of Elkhart's growth. Some of these nominees include a pair of former Elkhart mayors, several newscasters, and employees with the city. The prestigious awards ceremony will take place Sunday, October 7th at 6 p.m. at the Matternhorn Banquet Hall on Casopolis Street. In our Community Spotlight of the Week, the City of Goshen's Deputy Mayor, Mark Brinson, was awarded a statewide honor over the weekend. Brinson was awarded the 2023 Ivan Brennigar Award for Excellence in Municipal Government. The award is traditionally given to an appointed local government official who displays skills such as strong leadership and innovation in their community. Brinson's nomination came from former Goshen Mayor Jeremy Stutzman. Over the course of more than 40 years, Brinson has been heavily involved in community planning and development within Elkhart County. Brinson has had a hand in expanding community parks from the public education system and creating a home for arts within the community. Since he began work with the city of Goshen in 2008, the city has been named one of the top 20 cities in the Hoosier State. Green Project of the Year and Indiana Community of the Year. Brinson continues his role under Deputy Mayor, under current Mayor Lichty. Brinson says he's thankful for the award, but quote, with that being said, I have to emphasize the importance of teamwork in a building a successful nationally recognized city. What makes it possible for communities like Goshen to shine is the number of dedicated staff, elected officials, and board members who all contribute to our overshared community service mission, end quote. A new regional transit plan is set to be in place throughout Elkhart County and the Michigan Area Council of Government is looking for your input. Changes to the current plan are to be put in place through the Michigan On the Move Transportation Plan 2050. That plan recommends a number of changes be made to the interurban trolley routes, including the removal of the current color-coded route system. The new plan would number the routes instead. Routes would no longer service the Concord Mall stop, but would include other industrial areas such as County Road 17, Toledo Road, and Eastland Drive. A new route in Goshen, Route 53, would also service the southern areas of Goshen, including Wreath Park, Greencroft, and Winchester Trails. The draft plan is available for viewing online at movemacog.com and will be open for public commenting until October 9th. Now, if you prefer the in-person route, a public open house will take place on September 21st from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. on the 11th floor of the County City Building. Now, those are our top stories for the week. We hope that you made this show a part of your weekly routine as we continue to release episodes every Saturday throughout the year. As always, all stories in today's presentation were originally reported by the Goshen News and brought to you by Globe TV. Until next time, I'm Dante Stanton.